And new at 11, some making homeowners say one out of state property owner is trying to take their land through a lien on their homes for unpaid water bills. Our Gloria Ruth Finney is live in the studio after talking to the women who say they haven't had running water in their homes since May. Greg, that new property owner purchased land that controlled the water to the women's homes. They say their water lines were cut in an effort to get them to move. They haven't had luck reaching out to anyone so far with the with the Macon Water Authority, so they came to us. I'm begging right now just for help to keep what is rightfully mine. Suzanne Radler and her neighbor Joe Angela Lester say they're just two of nine neighbors living in fear after threats of having their land ripped away from them. Uh, on behalf of EK Boulevard LLC, we have filed a lien against your property. Lester has lived at the far end of Edward Drive in Macon for 30 years, Radler for 13 years. They take pride in their homes and their yards. They say back up the road, it's a different story. Nobody lives here except the ones that own. The entire neighborhood used to be a mobile home park. Radler says a new buyer purchased the property and evicted those who rented, along with removing tenants. Radler says the new owner cut off their water access from the meter located on the new owner's property. He had somebody else come take it all out. That's what blows my mind about making water. Seems like they could have pitched a fit. That's their private property. Now they haven't had access to running water in over 150 days. <laughs> This is the pot I have to heat up water in, get in the shower and lather up, and then literally just go like this. They say they used to pay $60 a month to the previous landowner of which the water meter is located. After the land was purchased, they had questions. How much do we pay? Where do we send the payment? Um, and they said, we'll get back with you. Well, he left the water on for two and a half years, never yeah. asked us for a penny. And all of a sudden, he wants almost $10,000 now. In a letter from Macon law firm Bloodworth, Crowley & Leverett, in lieu of the water bills, Edward LLC would settle for Radler and Lester's land. Avoid unnecessary cost and headache. We have enclosed a quick claim deed for your property. I found the new owner supposedly located in Staten Island, New York. All numbers I called disconnected. I don't think it's right. I just need help. I just need somebody that's willing to help us. I left a voicemail at the Macon Water Authority earlier this afternoon. I've also reached out to Macon Bib Commissioner Bill Howell. With laws of eminent domain, I want to know how the homeowners were cut off without, wa without water access to the main water line. Until then, reporting live at the studio, Gloria Ruth Finney, WGXA News. Hopefully those women can find some help, and thank you for that, Gloria.